Okay, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to upload and insert an image. Um, I've created a page here called Test, and first off, I want to get some uh, text and put it in there. So um, I'm going to go to a site called Lorem Ipsum. It's lipsum.com, and uh, we get this Lorem Ipsum text here, which is sample text. Just copy that and paste it into the administration area. And I'm going to get rid of the formatting that's on it uh, because I, since I've copied it from another website, it has some formatting already on it. So I'll get rid of that by clicking this uh, Remove Format button and save the page. And if we have a look at this page again and reload it, then we can see plenty of text. This will give us um, something to put the image into. What I'm going to do is insert the image just here. So in order to insert an image, uh, the first thing you do is click at the beginning of whatever paragraph you're putting it next to. So that's the lower Ipsum one here. Um, so in here I click just next to the L and click the image icon. You can't just copy and paste an image from your own machine because then um, the, the image itself is not contained in the database. When, when it's not in the file. It's actually referenced from the file. So um, when you copy and paste from your own computer, you're actually creating a reference to uh, an image that's on your, your computer. But nobody else on the internet can access your computer. Uh, well, they shouldn't be able to. Um, so what you need to do is actually upload the image first um, into a, a publicly available repository. So I'm going to do that by clicking on Browse Server. Sorry, just move this over here. And that opens up this uh, pop-up window here. Which um, and I'm just going to create a directory here called. So I right-clicked on root and click create a subdirectory, and I'm going to just call it test. Click into it. And there's no need to wait for this. I can choose a file now. So I'm going to choose a file now to upload it. Um, and let's see, images, images, images. What have we got here? Oh, why not? Okay, there's a shoe. I'm going to upload a shoe. And you can see that's finished loading. So I click on Upload now. And that's uploaded. And we have a shoe now inside here. If I double click on that now, oops, uh, then that, that brings us back to this page here. And you can see this is, this is quite a large image now. That's very, very large. I'm just going to demonstrate what that actually does now um, with the large image. And then we can fix it afterwards. So click OK, and you can see it's a huge image. If I update that page now and view it on the front end, you can see the image is so large it actually, um, you know, it's you can't you can't use that on the internet. It's too big. So uh, we'll resize it. Um, back in the admin area, what we're going to do is right click on the image and go to Image Properties. And um, the general size rule that I give is that an image um, a, a, a a good size for an image on a web page is about 320 wide and 240 high. So if we just type in 320 here, you can see these two um, these two numbers are actually linked. So by the ratio. So if I put in a zero here, for example, you can see the, the number changes there. Um, so I've changed it back to 320, and that's 182. And that's below 240, which is grand. You know, you want to have you want one number to be. Uh, the width should be either 320 or lower, and the height should be 240 or lower. Um, so we'll click OK on that, update the page, and have a look at that again. We're waiting. OK, there we are. So now we have the image is a, is a good size, and what we're going to do now is move it to the right side of the paragraph. So back in the admin area, Again, right click image properties and we'll go down now to align and if we change the alignment now to right then that floats it to the right of the text you see here update page and it's saving it and parsing it and now we have it in a nice place there there we go okay and that's how to upload and insert an image.